What if our yards worked for us instead of us always working on our yard? I once was lost, oh, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Welcome to Build Time Faith Homestead or Leave in Egypt, depending on which video platform you're watching this on. I am standing in the chicken pen, and of course the chickens were all back off over here, and now they're not. I thought it'd be a really cool shot, but now they're all moving around. But maybe the chickens will come back around for you guys. Um, my name is Justin. I live with my wife, Melissa, and uh, we have a tiny house and three kids, and we just do the best we can to serve the Lord and live a self-sustainable life, and uh, we have a lot of work to do in both of those areas. There's no doubt about that. But today, I want to talk about thinking outside of the box to help you put food on your table specifically i want to talk about your yard if you have a yard if you're watching this video and you have a yard i want you to ask yourself what is your yard producing for you did you know that people used to sow dandelion seed in their yard like the the same dandelion plant that we try so hard to get rid of today people used to sow that in their yard because they knew how much food it could produce for them all of the health benefits for daniel let me show you some of the health benefits here in this article, we see that dandelion um, leaves are used to stimulate the appetite and help digestion. Dandelion flower has antioxidant, prop antioxidant properties. Um, and herbalists have been using dandelion root to detoxify the liver, gallbladder, and those sort of things. Here we'll get into some more of the details, but it also has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin E, folate, and small amounts of vitamin B. Also, it has substantial amounts of several minerals, including iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. You can also tell that it is a potent antioxidant uh, to help with other things. It may help fight off inflammation as well if it's something you struggle with, and it may aid in blood sugar management. Guys, this was just a short list of things that I found. There are many more others if you will put in the time just to go look very quickly. For dandelion, for something we're spraying cancer-causing chemicals on, right? For dandelion. What's your yard, what's that grass doing for you? That beautiful manicured yard that you paid $10,000 for a slick zero turn mower to go and mow and keep perfectly manicured. You could mow it at a high rate of speed as fast as you can and you gotta put gas in it and oil and maintain it and all of that. What's that yard doing for you? Probably not a lot, right? It's just a pretty manicured yard, which is fine and dandy if that's what you want. But what if it was producing food for you? What if it was turned into a garden? What if it was used, what if it's, uh, maybe you don't want to plant dandelion and maybe you don't want to turn it into a garden. What if you just bought some electric netting and put some animals out on it, some chickens, some sheep, some goats, something that provides food back for you and putting that grass to work for you instead of it just being something you have to maintain and not get any benefit out of. I know that I'm really twisted and I understand that. My brain, it, it just works different, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm a messed up individual is the best way I can think about it. But I remember like, I, even as a kid seeing people plant trees. And I'm not against planting trees, don't hear I'm not right. Um, I remember seeing people plant these trees and I was thinking to myself, do those trees produce fruit? And the answer was no, they, they're just a common old regular no nothing tree, right? And I was like, why not? If you're gonna plant a, a tree in your yard, why not plant like a peach tree or an apple tree or something? Something that produces some sort of fruit, right? Even a nut, a berry, a mulberry tree, something that, that brings food to your table, right? What if, instead of trying to conform to everybody else's opinion of what everything ought to look like, what if you were willing to step outside the box for just a minute to help put food on your table, to help ease your grocery bill? Now, uh, if you decide to plant your yard or sow your yard in all sorts of wild herbs that grow naturally, that's not going to sustain you uh, wholly and completely, right? You're gonna need something else, but it's at least going to help. It's at least going to be something, some nutrients that you are getting from the land that you're not having to buy from the store to help that bill out to put food on your table and guys i know that my generations especially um, they know nothing about what it's like we know nothing about what it's like up until the recent years potentially to have like you have money in the bank 
It's just not on the grocery store shelf. It's just not there, right? That's such an odd thing to think about. And so that being the case, and it seems like we're headed that way and headed that way even further and even more so, I think we're going to have to get outside of the box a little bit and think about how to put food on our table in ways that maybe most has not considered before. And so this year, I would like uh, the best I can to spread the word to everybody and anybody that will listen. What's your yard doing for you? How's it producing food for you? If it's not, maybe we ought to change what we're doing. Even if it's just wild, uh, right? So that would really be my recommendation for the yard is that it be a, even plants that grow naturally and wildly in your area, sowing those sort of seeds back into your yard. So it's something you're not really gonna have to maintain. You're not gonna have to replant every year. You're not gonna have to disc it up. You're not gonna have to do nothing crazy, right? Just sow the seed, let the plants come up each and every year. Remember all of the preparedness in the world, all of the preparation, all of the planting, all of the learning how to can and learning how to preserve and all of that's great. It's awesome stuff, but it ain't going to do you a lick of good when them skies split open. Uh, I hope and I pray each and every one of you have a personal relationship with the Lord. I hope and pray each and every one of you is doing the best you can to follow the Lord, depending on his grace and mercy. We appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you on the next video.